In this video, I'm going to talk about LED backlight converting a CCFL LCD TV. Now, this is a Sharp Aquaos TV. Uh, I picked this up uh, from Recycle Center for 20 bucks. It was on its way to the landfill or whatever they do with them. And uh, I wanted to LED convert this and make a video about it, just show everything I went through to get this TV up and running again. Now, when I got this TV, it was giving me the uh, the blink code. Uh, I'll just show you right here. Uh, lamp failure. I was getting the uh, the pulse, uh, the LED green light blink once every second, um, and that indicates backlight lamp failure, which it did indeed have. I'll I should pull up a video of what it was doing here. When you turn it on, it would just give a quick blink, and if you look close, you can actually see. Uh, two lamps are out, and the other ones were had dark edges too, so they were. More were also on their way out too. Um, so I went ahead, uh, removed all the CCFL lamps, and uh, installed LED strips that I scavenged out of a. Uh, I just got to move a picture over here. Out of a uh, another 42 inch TV that I got with a crack screen. Uh, Pulled out the LED strips out of a different TV, and then this was also a 42-inch TV, so I installed them in here. Um, let's see, there was, there is uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight strips. I'm running them at three volts per LED, um, and there is a 60-volt power supply on this TV that originally runs the inverter boards. Uh, inverter boards, I, of course, I pulled out. But uh, here we can show a picture of what it looks like before. So here I originally have the inverter boards on this side. We've got 60 volts coming in here. Uh, since the LED strips are at 15 volts a strip at 3 volts per LED, uh, I wired them up 4 in series to get 60 volts. And then those two sets are in parallel with each other. So I can run, run these all on the uh, 60 volt power supply for the inverter. Uh, I lose the dimming. There's no more dimming control, but that's okay. I'm just running at full power, which is fine by me. It beats throwing the TV away. Um, here I did fuse it. Here's the 60-volt uh, uh, pin. No, I'm sorry, 60-volt positive ground. Uh, one amp fuses in here just in case something terribly goes wrong. Uh, and now this here, this is the, the signal ends. I'll have to show you the drawings here. But uh, now, since this is a higher end TV, the inverter board talks back to the CPU with a, if it senses an error code. Um, so here we have the uh, error um, error wire. As long and what the inverter board does, as long as everything's a okay, it sends out 3.3 volts, uh, which gets fed back. Now it gets all the way through here, right to the. Here we go, right into the CPU. Um, so the CPU is looking for that 3.3 volts and everything's okay. If it doesn't get the 3.3 volts, it uh, that's when it uh, keeps track of the um, error codes. And what will happen is you'll get the, the blinky light showing that you have a lamp failure. Um, it will try to start the TV up to five times. If after five times it still has errors, it actually won't even let you turn the TV on anymore. And when that's the case, you have to, uh, let's see here, here, you have to hold down the uh, channel down and volume up buttons at the same time when you plug it in. That resets the error code back to zero. Uh, but what I did to keep the CPU happy that the inverter board was okay is just run a, put a 470 ohm resistor uh, from the, uh, the power on signal, which also happens to be 3.3, and just jumpered that to the air so then the main processor thinks everything's a okay and it turns on um, all right so that uh, pretty much explains how to keep the tv on and happy um, see this is here what it looks like with the inverter boards pulled out and just the leds uh, being powered up and uh, here is uh, now what it looks like without the lcd screen um, uh, just other pictures of the pulling out the bulb process. Nothing too exciting right here. Um, yeah, I think that's it. So as you can see, it works. It actually has a nice picture. It's uh, Now we'll continue 
to uh, serve a purpose and hopefully we'll have a few more years before it has to, to get tossed out. Uh, that's it. Thanks for watching.